What's up guys and dolls? I'm Bernard, this is I Know Hugh, and today, Mariana Sokol and I are gonna take a trip down memory lane, and we're gonna play some music. That's right, it's Mariana Sokol on I Know Hugh. Welcome. So, as you guys may or may not know, I'm actually a classically trained musician. That's right, piano, percussion, and violin. <laughs> violin. Uh, in fact, it was many, many moons ago that Mariana Sokol and I actually met at orchestra camp. And now, we're twinsies. That's right. So here she is, all the way from Houston, Texas, Mariana Sokol. Yeah. All right. Mariana. Uh -huh. What's up? Hello. What's up? Hello. Hello. How you feeling? Feeling good? I'm feeling great. Yeah, let's drink. Cheers. <laughs> that tastes terrible. <laughs> um, how's it going, man? How you doing? I'm doing all right. So you just got off a tour, right? Yes, I did a tour of uh, Houston, Texas. Okay, what did you do? Oh, you know what? I also played a show in Montgomery, Texas. Really? Yes. What was that like? Uh, impromptu in someone's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty legit, actually. I did. <laughs> right. uh, so, Marianna, thanks for being here. Um, My pleasure. Tell me, how did you uh, get into music? I first started getting into music when I was a baby in my mother's womb. <laughs> uh, my parents were musicians, are musicians, and they met um, in music college in the 70s. My mom was my first guitar teacher. I started on piano and guitar, and then when I was about five, I started on violin. Then I started singing and performing. I always knew that I would want to end up doing something that incorporated music. Sounds legit. Um, too legit. Too almost. legit to quit. Yeah, it would. It just wouldn't quit. Which actually leads me into my next question. <laughs> biggest musical influences, which I know MC Hammer is one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, 1990 was a very delicate year very in my delicate. Uh, in my development. <laughs> <laughs> Those parachute pants just oh, opened man. my world. They Enough made me to. realize that there was so much more out there that I could fit in my pants. Um. <laughs> so anyways, greatest musical influences. Okay, so. Absolutely, uh, because I have to be like everyone else, I would say the Beatles a lot. Um, <clears throat> mostly because they drew a lot from what was popular in their time, and then they made it very much their own and very different, and I respect that. Um, I would say Ben Folds, Fiona Apple, Regina Spector, Sufjan Stevens. Sufjan. The Dodos. Uh, the Dodos are like a little indie rock freak folk band. Freak folk. You would really like them a lot. Yeah. A lot of African drumming. This is some terrible wine, isn't a it? A joke. It's terrible. <laughs> it's like terrible wine. <clears throat> so, would you consider yourself a professional musician? I make all of my living by playing music in some form or another. Mm -hmm. um, so I play a lot of shows. I write a lot of my own songs and play a lot of shows, but I also am a music therapist during the day. So I work with lots of different people who have all kinds of needs, and I use music to help them work towards meeting those needs. Or living a more functional life. Yeah. Can I get one of those? Mm -hmm. I've been really wanting to try this dip. Good dip. I can tell it's like oak aged. Yeah, aged in that box. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so how do you feel about playing us a song real quick? You down with that? Sure. Cool. I blink to soon Oh, swift imagination Come run away with me And mark these tender wounds Destroy heart that bleeds for them with useless memories. Oh, day you think you'd wake and this would all be done. Quiet in the
Hey man, sounded great. Uh, great song. Thank you. Tell me about Houston. What's the music scene like in Houston? <clears throat> the music scene in Houston. Well, it's a very large and very international city, as you know. There are a plethora of talented musicians from all kinds of different musical and cultural backgrounds. Mm -hmm. We have some amazing classical and jazz programs here. I will say there is a lot more variety than there used to be. Okay. I would say there are a lot of people who are very passionate about it and work very hard to bring good music uh, to good venues in the city. It's very important if you wanted to be a part of the Houston music scene, it's very important to just get out there and meet people, go to open mics, go to shows, um, meet people, network, make friends, um, because yeah. it can be difficult to figure out how to play shows and meet people if you don't uh, make a big effort to go out and do that. That makes so, sense. Yeah. I would say that. I would also say that, you know, if there are any strong young women watching that would like to get out there in the Houston music scene, there is a place for you. <laughs> and that uh, <clears throat> should be a bigger place. I well, yeah, what are some cool places? So like, hey, man, I, I want to hear some music. Like, let's go. Ah, I need to hear something. I know about cons. Cons. So cons, cons is cool because they have all kinds of different things every night. So one night you might go and find a bunch of like nerd rock. One night you might go and find just like a dozen jazz musicians jamming. If you're trying to break out in the music scene, you're like, dude, I, I don't want to just do music, I want to break out. Where do I need to go play? You mean break out like get Fame, Houston famous? Yeah! Or break out like get, get a famous. start and start playing gigs. No, 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 get used to things. Uh, White Oak Music Hall is definitely a new hip place to play. They just opened, it's a beautiful venue. Raven Tower Next Door is a great place. Yeah, Raven Warehouse Tower. Live is always a good place if you can How get in. How do you get in a Warehouse Live? So there are a lot of ways to get in. I. You know ways, don't you? I have you? to choose my words carefully. Oh, jeez. Um, Axel Rad is a very cool place to play. Yeah, Axel Rad's awesome. <laughs> Do you have any uh, gigs coming up? I actually don't have anything booked right now, mm -hmm. though in January I have plans to go up to Austin to finish recording my second album, which I'm in the middle of recording right yeah, now. Yeah, that's well. I may play a show up there, I may play a couple shows around here. I don't have anything booked. So if somebody wanted to have an awesome singer-songwriter come out, play some guitar for like things, like what, what kind of events do you play? What kind of shows? like? First, hey, I want you to come out and like, have you ever played like a home show or anything like that? Absolutely, yes. Uh, so last weekend I played a benefit concert for Barrio Dogs. Hit that box! <laughs> house concerts are a very different type of vibe. A few weeks ago I played at Axel Rad. In a couple of weeks I'm playing a children's Christmas party. Nice! For a private event in a very fancy neighborhood that I can't name, but uh... Yeah, I play all kinds so of... So you do everything? Yeah. So if somebody wants to get you for like a bar mitzvah or whatever, you know, or, yes. or a bris, because you know you got to get that I, You know, and, and, and I have a lot of good uh, percussion instruments that could really appropriately like be the soundtrack for that moment and the moments leading up to it. I just really do think... Do you just have anything that sounds like a scream? Like, yeah. oh, God! Yeah, I feel like I have a lot of instruments that could provide a very appropriate soundtrack for something like a bris. Like the chop. Oh. Chop? Is that really? Just saw. Oh, whoop! There it goes. Oh, oh no, somebody catches. Rolling across the floor. Oh my god. So, what about when it's like, slap it off? <laughs> or like, snip, snip? And then when you pull the skin off and you're like, hey, everybody, check it out! <laughs> this has been way too fun. If anybody <clears throat> wants to uh, try to get in contact with you to play a show, or like, hey, I need you to come out for this bris. What? How can they get Naturally. you? How can they reach you? How can they reach you? So you can find me online. My music is anywhere. Anywhere on the internet. My name is Mariana Sokol. M-A-R-Y-A-N-N-A-S-O-K-O-L. I have my own website, MarianaSokol.com. I'm on Bandcamp, iTunes, MySpace. MySpace? <laughs> Facebook, yeah. Oh, YouTube, yeah. You got that YouTube stuff going yeah. on, huh? I got a YouTube channel. This yeah. is I Know You. Yeah. At the end of the day, <laughs> I'm giving Mariana Sokol, two out of two uh, glasses of wine, because we're drunkards. Thank you. Yeah, just say when. <laughs> <laughs> when?
Ah, there you go. <laughs> that is mighty fine looking grape juice right there. So, hey, Mariana, thanks for, um, thanks for playing. Thanks for the interview. This thanks. has been awesome. Um, thanks for like uh, over 10 years of friendship. I'm not going to put out the exact number because <laughs> it's a big number. It is definitely over 10. But it's been over 10 years. Um, anyways, uh, make sure that you guys like this video. Make sure that you subscribe. Put your comments down below. Tell me different musicians. I should check out uh, different bars, different restaurants, and all that stuff. This is all about Houston, the city that we love. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Sure, we're asking.